In this video, I'll show you one of the preview feature within Microsoft Power Apps with regards to importing of Excel document within the Dataverse to import data. Now, just to give you a context, this is a simple model driven app. Now I've opened one table, airlines, and I can see the list of airlines uh, loaded. So there are around 22 airlines, which are currently part of the system. Now, if you go on the top menu over here, you will see something called as import from Excel. Now, if I click on import from Excel, it will allow me to import the data into the table. Now, there is an another way through which you can import an Excel document is you go to make.powerapps.com. I'm in the make.preview.powerapps.com and try searching for your table. So my table name is airlines table. So I'll go into the airlines table and then I can perform the import process now let it load so first what we did is we went inside the model driven app and then we have seen this option import from excel so what it does is like it will open the import wizard to import the excel file now this one let me do a hard refresh <clears throat> So if I go to custom, you will see airlines. And once I select airlines, I have an option to import. So import data from Excel, or I can go inside outside the table and I can do import data from Excel. So these are the options through which I can import data into the system. Now, the problem with this approach is if I do import from Excel, I need to know the exact format. Now, before I do an import from Excel, what I first need to do is like, I need to first go to export to Excel, export the record set, open that Excel file. So I've opened this Excel file. So let me show you this. Yeah. So open the Excel file, enable the editing, and then start adding record over here. So you should know the exact format while adding record. Now, what if you do not have that format and if you still want to import the record into the system? So take for example, let me create an Excel file. So this is our typical Excel file. Now, the main thing what uh, I would be wanting is uh, just the name of the airlines. I, I I don't care about description, total aircraft, total staff, and all those details. So let me open a blank workbook and let me add the name of the airline. So the so name of the airline, and it can be anything. So maybe I'll just say name and let me add Ryanair KLM <clears throat> and uh, maybe Contessa. I'm just making up some some data over here. What I'll do, I'll just make this as a table. So my table has header, and this is the table. And I can even name this. So I'll call this as air. And here I can have some other data. Data one, I can have other data. So I can have data two. So I have all these three different worksheets and this is the data which I want to be imported. Now, let's try importing this record using the old approach. So let me save this file. So airline B. So I'm saving this file in my uh, desktop area and I just named as airline b.xlsx. Now, this is that file. So before you import, make sure that you close this file. So airline b.xlsx, I'll just close this file. And over here, I'll go and say import from Excel. Now remember, import from Excel with this method needs to be in that exported format. But think about it like you don't have uh, that specific format handy then you can go to desktop and i'll just select airline b and click on next 
Now, moment you do that, it says invalid format and in input file. The input file does not have the format that Dynamics 365 uses to map the data to Dynamics 365 field. So you may need to create that specific format, add the data in that, and then try importing. Now, same goes with here in the table. If you go to import data from Excel, it will do the same thing. Now, in order to get around with it, let's navigate to Power Platform Admin Center. And we are going to enable the new preview feature. So I'll go to my environment and under environment, go to settings, product, features. And if you scroll down a bit, you should be able to see a preview feature. Now this is that preview feature. It says import Excel to existing table with assisted mapping. Now, let me turn this on and click on save. So we are enabling this feature, import Excel to existing table with assisted mapping. So this is saved. So let me go over here and do a hard refresh. And even in the model driven app, I will do a hard refresh. Now, if you go into the model driven app, if I click on this three icon over here, I can still see input from Excel. If I extend, I can see input from CSV or input from XML. So I just see input from Excel, which is the old one. If I go into the table level over here, go to custom, go to airlines table here. Now, as you see over here, you see an option to import data from Excel preview. So why this is enabled? Because we have just turned on the feature through the Power Platform Admin Center. Now, if I click on import data from Excel, and now you get some different interface. So now you have an option to either drag and drop your file or you select from the device. Now we have already created uh, a sample file. So let me open that sample file. So I'll just drag and drop the sample file. Now this file is in my format. It's not in the format of what uh, the earlier classic model used to ask for. Now, as you see over here, we have created three different sheets and now you have an option to select the sheet. So our data currently resides in the air sheet. So let me click on air. Click on next. And then it will start giving you this information. So this is like more like a data import process, uh, like how we used to perform uh, the data flow. So it is that piece of work. Uh, so import method from source to destination. Uh, from source is the file. To destination is the data was table. We can select the primary key. Uh, no need to select if you don't want. Uh, and then it will show you how many items are mapped and how many items are unmapped. Now, as we had only one column, so it has correctly mapped the name with name. Now you have an option. You can untick it and then maybe pick up any other field as well. But this has done the right job. So that's all good. If you want to see how many are mapped, so mapped, possible match, unmapped, all those things. Now we only had two records. So as you see over here, currently we have 22 records. If we import it, it should become 24. So let's do an import. So if I click on import over here, it will start the import process. Now, one observation which I saw is that uh, I don't get to see the progress, you know, uh, now the progress gets lost somewhere here. So it would be nice if you, you would have had been uh, shown the progress so that we know how many records are imported, how many records are not imported or how, how much time does it take to import that record. But anyways, as this is a preview feature, the improvement might come in. So it's still 22. So what will happen is uh, it will, uh, the process will be uh, queued and then all this information will get populated. Now, as you see, oh, so we had three records. So that's why from 22, it became 25. So if you want to see, you can sort by newer to older. And then these are the three record which we added. So, and that's why uh, uh, 
this this three records get inserted into the airline table so what we have learned we have seen that if you want to uh, have your own excel format and import the data selectively into the table this is a nice feature import excel to existing table with assisted mapping it does not require a specific format you can pick up any excel table with a proper tabular structure in it and also the column name doesn't matter because anyways once you import the record into the system it will ask you to map it it would be good if you have a similar set of column names so take for example if you are importing say airline name so you can put name as a column or total aircrafts or total staff it will collectively and selectively pick up the right column but if you don't still you have an option to map those so i really like this new feature uh, which uh, dictates uh, which doesn't dictate uh, the specific format while importing records into the microsoft dataverse so that's it folks thanks for watching